Good morning, good morning, part two, part two. Um, so y'all already know, y'all already know. And I pray that y'all paying attention because that's all God wants you to do is pay attention. They always cut me off because they know one thing that is it's a powerful video. Y'all heard what I'm saying? They cut me off in the middle of what I was saying. The phone went dead. Are y'all listening? I could not get back on. And I was like, wow. If I don't know if y'all y'all pay attention to what they're doing. They only cut me off when they know that power of God is flowing through me. I'm talking about it always flows, but when there's an intensity, they always cut off my life. No, they, they don't like my truth. They don't like my truth, but I'm going to get back up on. I couldn't even get back on for about maybe two, three minutes. I was like, wow. And I ain't going to lie. I'm so I'm I, I'm I'm really, they want to say crazy. Yeah, I'm crazy for God, but let me tell you something. What I do is I tell them. And while I was off here, I was telling them, I said, be very afraid. I know y'all scared of me. If I'm not nothing, because that's what the elite think, we're nothing. So if I'm not nothing, why you scared? Why you why you turn off my lives if I ain't nothing, huh? Come on, somebody, hallelujah. If, if I'm nothing, why are you so afraid of what I'm saying? If I'm nothing, why are you afraid of the power that's inside of me if I'm nothing? Y'all better understand what time it is, y'all. Y'all better understand what time it is. These people trying to stop us, but you can't stop Jesus Christ. I say his name. That's right. Y'all don't know as I say his name and everything, even in my music, most people won't say his name. They go around it because they don't like Jesus Christ of Nazareth's name, but they can't stop him. They killed him and he's still alive. Oh, hallelujah. He came out that grave. Hallelujah. Now, as I was saying, I'm going to be an example of what I preach and teach. And I'm not kidding. I will give it all up for God. I don't care. I, and I mean, you, you, people were coming at me left and right for the last two days. So you'll walk away from it all. It don't make no sense. You finally got this. You finally got that. Man, I don't care about no no um, no um worldly goods. You can call me what you want. They talked about me anyway when I didn't have nothing. So it really don't matter to me. Hallelujah. I do this for real. Long as I'm, I have food, clothing, I don't care what the people are talking about. Oh, so you're going to just walk away. Yes, sir. Yes, ma'am. I sure will. And I'm going to show you better than I could tell you. Hallelujah. We all have to make choices. But people don't understand. We came to the earth to worship God. We didn't come here to build ourselves up. And that's what has happened. People have built up their many kingdoms. Y'all ain't ready for me this morning, huh? Everybody after a bag. But let me tell you something. And, and, and I, you know, this is just a continuation of what I was saying. When you get to Jesus on Judgment Day, and we all will, whether you like it or not, whether you want to act like you, you, you know, whatever. What you going to tell him? God, I love the world more than you. Because here's the deal. All he doing, all Satan did was the same thing that he did to Jesus. If you fall down and worship me, I'll give you the glory in the kingdom of this world. I don't know about you. He can keep his glory. He can keep his kingdom. He can keep his money. He can keep every, all that because that don't mean nothing. Because I don't know if y'all understand. People have all that and they still not happy. Oh, y'all ain't ready for me. People have all that and they still not saved. Y'all ain't ready for me. It is about where you're going in the afterlife. But you see... The enemy that came into the church got everybody thinking that if you're not prosperous, then that means that you're not blessed. I just said something. I'm going to say it again. That if you don't have this house, this car, I'm talking about mega church, mega, then you're not blessed. The devil is a liar. The Bible says the son of man had nowhere to lay his head. Hallelujah. And when he sent the apostles out two by two, by the way, he said, take nothing. Hallelujah to his name. I feel the power of God. You can't stop God. And God have a remnant. God have a remnant and I'm part of it. We don't care about all that stuff that most people care about. Yes, we're human. We're going we're gonna to have those wants and, and, and all that stuff. Let's be real. But honey, you got to have more God in you than world. I just said something. Somebody put that in the comments. You got to have more God than this world. Hallelujah. Who are you for real? Like I said, who are you? I'm not talking about what you do. I'm a doctor. I'm a lawyer. I'm, I'm famous. I'm, man, I don't care about what you say, who you think you are. Who are you? Because it's bigger than that. It's way bigger than that. And the enemy knows it. That's why he surnames everything. All of these diseases are surnamed. 
Everything is surnamed because he doesn't, he, he knows how, to, how the spiritual realm works. The spiritual realm works that you must cast out the demon by its name. That's why Jesus said, who are you? He said, my name is Legion. Hallelujah. Jesus showed us how to do it. Y'all better understand what's happening. Hallelujah. Woo. So that's all I have to say. So I pray that we be mindful. I pray that we be mindful. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. My God, my God, my God. That's why I wrote the other day and nobody caught it really much. I wrote, I'm truly, I'm truly an apostle because God is asking me to do something. And at first, and I'm going to be very transparent because y'all need this. I cried all day long the other day when God asked me to do what he asked me to do. Yes, I did. I'm not going to lie. I'm not going to lie about nothing. I said, God, I just got my place. What are you saying? And I'm going here. I'm going here. People told me not to say nothing. I'm, I'm going to say it anyway because y'all need to know the truth. He said, your daddy needs you in Louisiana. I said, God, wait a minute. Wait, 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 wait. Wait, wait. You let me build all this up here in Augusta, Georgia. And now you're asking me to leave it all and go take care of my daddy? He said, yes, Deanna. I'm packing up this place and I'm leaving. Everybody can't. I mean, I can't tell y'all how, how, they, how they cut me down and how they say, I can't believe you. everybody. I don't care what they say. I only got one daddy. But more so, my father in heaven is asking me to do something. So if nobody understands, God be with you and God bless you. I really don't care. Talk about me. You've been talking about me anyway. Hallelujah. I don't care. Yeah. Yeah, I don't care. I do this for real. I'm transparent for real. I don't care about anything like that, man. Come on, man. God first over people. <laughs> I just said something. God first over people. And I only got one dad. I don't care what nobody say. No, he's not perfect, but he's my daddy. And I know what God is showing me. Hallelujah. And I want y'all to remember this day. I know what God's showing me. And I will not let that happen on my watch. I'm going to be there for him until the end. And I catch that in the spirit. Hallelujah. Woo. I didn't know I was going to do all this on this live, y'all. Anywho, God bless y'all. God be with y'all. <laughs> this is Apostle Deanna Dixon. Roll our soldiers, for that is who we are. God bless.